Hello, this is Puzzles for Math 30-2. Uh, so I'll just go over a few puzzles and sort of the logic uh, behind solving them, especially uh, Sudoku-style problems like these two here. So I'll just give you the rules of a Sudoku if you've never played before. So you need the digits uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, and 9 to go into every row. So there's 9 rows. Every column. And again, there's 9 columns. And then every 3x3 three three grid. And so there's 9 of those. And so you're not allowed any repeats in any row, column, or 3x3 three three grid. So I can help you get started. So let's focus in on so maybe this grid here. You can see that there's only three digits that it does not have. So it doesn't have the three. It doesn't have the four or the six. So I gotta fit a three, four, six somewhere into this three by three grid because it's missing those ones. So if I look at this cell here, it definitely cannot be a 3 because there's already a 3 right there. And it definitely cannot be a 6 because there's a 6 right there. So like this row and this column, they already have a 6 and a 3 respectively. So this has to be 4 right here. So that's your 4. Cross off the 4 because you've used it. Now, just like this spot couldn't be a 3 because of this. This spot can't be a 3 because of this. So that means the 6 has to go here and the 3 has to go there. And then now that grid is done. There's other strategies to playing Sudoku. Um, for example, you want to pick out, like let's look at all three of these grids at one time. And let's look at the columns. So let's look at these three columns. And so this column already has a 3. Uh, pardon me, I won't use 3. Let's use 6. So this column already has its 6. This column already has its 6. And so this 6 was in the middle 3x3 uh, three three grid. This 6 was in the lower 3x3 three three grid. So there's got to be a 6 that goes up here. And it can't be here or here. And it can't be here or here. Because those 6 can't put a 6 there, there, or there. Because of these. So the 6 has to go here or here. And then when I look across, there's already a 6 in play there. So that cannot be a 6. So this is our 6. And you have to just continue going through this uh, logic puzzle until it is completely filled. And so the reason that I show you this is that there's a lot of problems uh, in the 30-2 curriculum on puzzles that has sort of this logical deduction. This is an interesting variation of Sudoku where you have to use, because it's a 4x4 four four grid, the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4. But you also have to meet the requirements of the operation in the, in the cells. So you can see that there's bolded cells. So like this one here, you have to get to 12 with multiplication. The one next to it is you have to get to 3 with addition. So like for this one here, to get to 3 with addition, using only these digits, well, it has to be 2 and 1, like this. But you don't know if the 2 goes there or there, so what you can do is you just mark it like this. 1, 2, 1, 2. You just don't know which one goes which. Now, if you look to the cell beside it, the only way that you can get to 12 with multiplication is 3 and 4. So that's going to be 3 and 4 like this and like that. And then it still has the same rules as Sudoku where like this whole column can only have 1, 2, 3, and 4, no repeats. And so if the 3 and the 4 are all going to go here in this column, so that means that above is going to be 1 and 2, 1 and 2. And so the logical deduction, this idea of deduction, is like once you learn something then that's going to 
help you in form a new decision and you're going to deduce what to do next. And so if you look at this square here, it has to be a 1 or a 2. And you look at the operation 2 with division, your options are 4 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 1. And so if you look at uh, your choices, and you know this has to be a 2 or a 1, then this can be a 4 or a 2. So if it was 1, if it was 1, you'd have to choose 2 over there. And if this was 2, then you'd have to choose 4. But if you look down below here, these are telling you that you're going to have a 2 in one of those sections. So up here, it cannot be 2. So because of these, you cannot be 2 there. So that means this has to be your 4, then this will be your 2. And if that's your 2, this is your 1. And if that's your 1, that's your 2 here. Oh, pardon me. That's going to be 3, because you have to make 2 with a subtraction there. And obviously it can't be 2 because of those there. So then you can just keep moving from there. And I won't solve the rest of that, but I got you started at least. Here are some multiple choice questions uh, that involve puzzles. Um, some of them may just be like a pattern, like the talk to. This one you're going to have to like read the rules and then try to solve the question. Some more multiple choice pattern questions, like uh, you kind of just have to look at it for the first time and hopefully you have a, a sense of what's happening. And you, some of these questions, you might look at them, like this one here is an interesting one, I won't ruin it for you, but like if you don't ever make the connection of what they're asking for, you may never understand how to do this one. This one here is sort of that uh, Sudoku style, so they give you a magical grid like this with these symbols and then they're telling you that if you add them up like this plus this plus this plus this is 8. So if triangle represents some number and, and you add them up that's 8 so then triangle must equal 2. So it's like 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. And then you now that you know that triangle is 2 you can fill those in everywhere else and then try to, try to deduce the next um, cell that you're going to unlock and then eventually you'll be able to solve for x down there. And um, after these next two questions you get into some puzzles I found uh, and yeah you just read the rules and if you're interested in doing them then uh, these are just extra puzzles for fun. Uh, these star puzzles can get a little bit tricky and I don't really like these uh, these ones here. These ones are good uh, sort of modified Sudokus like you gotta get because it's a 4x4 four four grid you're gonna use the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and then because of these uh, connectors uh, you have to so like you know that this one's gonna be a 3 or a 4 this is gonna be a 3 or a 4 because this section all has to have it the connected section you just don't know which one is which. You have to make some deductions. And this this was a challenging puzzle. I remember it took me a long time to figure that one out. And a couple more um, Sudoku version puzzles.